There certainly was some fallout this week um, from House Majority Leader D.J. Betancourt's decision to resign effective immediately at the end of last week. By now, it's all old news to everybody uh, that D.J. Betancourt has admitted that he lied <clears throat> about a report he turned in regarding his law school internship that he was taking with Brendan Guida, a Chichester Republican legislator. And at one point, there was an agreement from the Speaker, Representative Guida, and D.J. Betancourt that he would resign effective June 6th for personal reasons. Now, D.J., when he resigned in his letter of resignation, did not cite personal reasons, but went on to cite a number of things, including that he's getting married. He's already probably been married by the time this is filmed. It was supposed to happen this past weekend. Um, and that he was taking a new job with the New Hampshire League of Foundation. As I say, by now, most of you watching this probably are well aware that, one, um, DJ didn't resign effective June 6th. He resigned immediately. Two, he didn't get that job at the New Hampshire Legal Foundation, and they've severed all ties with him. And three, <clears throat> one and two happened because Representative Guida broke the deal not to talk about this whole kind of seem seemly episode because, in his mind, D.J. Betancourt broke the deal by not resigning for personal reasons and um, not being truthful about why he was leaving the House. Um, but the developments this week, on the, the House Democrats sent a letter seeking an independent review of all the unanswered questions about this matter. There are unanswered questions. Um, there isn't no doubt about that. Here's a couple that maybe haven't even been asked yet. But how about the question of the University of New Hampshire Law School? Either the law school did an awful job monitoring D.J. Betancourt's law school internship, or State Representative Brendan Guida is not being truthful when he says, I never, uh, D.J. Betancourt attended two meetings in my law firm for a total of less than five hours and left and never came back, and I never heard from the law school in between until I saw on Facebook a picture of D.J. Betancourt with a law school diploma in his hand. As it turned out, it wasn't a diploma. He went through the merit graduation ceremony without getting a diploma. But you see the point. I mean, law school internships, any internships for that matter, they're supposed to be not just the annual reports at the end. They're supposed to be ongoing reports. There often are site visits. There surely are phone calls or emails that occur between the faculty member and the person who's conducting the, mem the internship. How's it going? <clears throat> Is the student performing the way you thought he or she would? Um, according to Representative Guida, none, none of that occurred. And so I think certainly it's going to be really incumbent on a law school to, to be as forthcoming as they're able to legally with just what they did in monitoring D.J. Betancourt's law school internship. And because if they are, it's going to help answer many of these questions about whether State Representative Brendan Guida is being fully truthful, about whether House Speaker Bill O'Brien is fully truthful when he says, I knew nothing about D.J. Betancourt's internship until Representative Guida came to me the day Betancourt decided to resign. So um, that's just one, one very big question that's out there, and there are going to be many.